Hello, so here we've got another problem on uh, summarizing quantitative variables. I know that some of you and uh, some, some of my students when they see a problem uh, asking them to produce a stem and leaf display, uh, I'll get something that looks, uh, you know, something like this. A very nice uh, diagram of some stems and some leaves and it's very appealing. Um, looks nice, very pretty, but not really what what, what we're looking for. Uh, when we're looking at a stem and leaf display, this is uh, another method of, of illustrating uh, a data set. So just just to get started, what is a stem and, and what is a leaf? Let me just start off with, um, let's start with a number 45. Okay. Now the first thing that we need to do is define the scale and the scale is is uh, defined by the leaf or the size of the leaf. So here if I say the leaf uh, is 1, then what that means is that this first digit on the right, this is my leaf and this digit here is my stem. Okay, so we're, we're splitting the integer uh, into these components, the stem and the leaf. Now, if I have, let's say I have a leaf value of 10. So now I have a value or a data point 4,678. So if the leaf value is 10, now I'm eliminating, I'm actually really ignoring this value and I'm looking at this here is my leaf and this becomes my stem. So with a leaf value of 10 I'm isolating the second digit uh, from the right and what what is left on the left of that integer uh, is my stem. Let's look at another example. Leaf value is 10 so I have 321. So if this is my data point, I am looking at a leaf value of 10. I am ignoring, completely ignoring. We don't even round it. We don't round anything up or round anything down. We just ignore that rightmost value. This 2 is my leaf, and this 3 is what we call the stem. OK, so let's put this into action and produce our stem and leaf display. So the first thing that we do, uh, we'll just draw, oops, draw a vertical line that, that delineates or separates our stems from our leaves, okay? In this exercise, I'm gonna use a leaf value of one. The reason I'm gonna use a leaf value of one is because all of my digits here are just two, two integers, a four and a seven. So by defining the leaf value of one, let me just take this number here, so 47. I have one value for the leaf and one value uh, for the stem. Okay, so let's identify now all of the stems uh, that are gonna be a part of this display. So the easiest way to do this is look through your data set and find the very smallest value. So if I go through my data set, I think this looks like 26 is my smallest value. So that gives me the, the smallest value for my stem. So this is, means my stems are gonna start at two. My largest value as I go through, uh, here I've got a 90. So my largest value is gonna be a nine. And we'll have everything in between. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I know I can end at nine because that's my largest stem value in the data set. Okay, so the next step now, uh, we've identified our stems. Now we need to go through and uh, find the corresponding leaves. So to do that, we'll start with our first stem is a two and now we go through the data set and we identify each specific observation that has a stem value of two so that leftmost integer in the data point is a two. Now I think we only have the one 
we only have this one value here that has a stem value of 2. So that's 26. So the corresponding leaf is a 6. Okay, so that's it for the first stem and its corresponding leaf. I'm going to, uh, just to make my life easier, I'm going to scribble this out so that I can, uh, I don't get mixed up when I'm looking through the data set. The next one, our stem value is 3. So I'm going to go through our data set and look for all of the stem values of 3. Here I have 36, 37, 37, and I think that's it. Okay, so now we have multiple values. So how do we add the leaves? So they, they go in, in order from smallest to largest. So if I look at the leaf values, so I'll just erase all of the corresponding stems. So I have a six and I have two sevens. So this will be six and then the two sevens right after. And now I can eliminate those ones from my data set. Okay, the next stem value is four. So I go through and we look for all of these stem values of four. There's 47, 41, 42, and it looks like that's it again. So I have still three observations. Now, ignoring those stem values, I have a one, a two, and a seven. So we write those down in order, one, two, and seven. Let's continue on. I'm going to run out of colors here soon. Five. So I identify all of the fifties. Fifty-two. Fifty-two. Fifty-four. And that looks like that's it. Okay. So I have, again, eliminate those stems. I have two, two, and four. Moving on to our stem six. I think I've got a few here. 69, 60, 60, 67, 67, 67, another 67, 64, and 62. Wow, we have a few here. So again, I'm going to scribble out all of these sixes. I'm going to ignore those stems. And then all of the rest go in order from largest to uh, sorry, smallest to largest. So it looks like smallest values have got a couple of zeros. So let's get rid of those. I have uh, two. I have one, two, three, four sevens. One, two, three, four sevens. And finally up here I had a nine. Wow, a few more... Uh, uh, m many more six values. Okay, uh, moving on. I've been running out of colors. Let's go gray. Seven. There I have 70, 78, 77, 75. Oh, and look, I just noticed I missed... I missed a 63 right here. So we can actually add that in... Don't let me forget, I have four sevens and a nine. Oops. Four sevens and a nine. Three, one, two, three, four sevens and a nine. Okay, and let's go back and finish up our sevens. So I have a zero, uh, five, seven, and eight. Good, finally, eight, 82 and 80. So that's a zero and a two. 90, I have a 90 and 91, zero and a one. Okay, good, there's, uh, there's what our stem and leaf display looks like. Now, what is this for? Well, clearly it gives us some illustration uh, of the nature of the data that, that we're working with. Uh, we have all of the values are ranked, so I have all of my, my specific observations are now ranked from smallest to largest. And I can see, similar to what we would see in a histogram, where I have 
some idea of the the frequency of observations right here I can see that there's a significant number of observations that are occurring right in the middle by middle I mean you know between between two and nine right in here at six I've got quite a few observations uh, roughly in the middle of, of my whole data set I have very few small observations I have uh, very few large observations so it's giving me an illustration of the, the distribution of observations from smallest to largest so it's very similar uh, in, in what it conveys similar to a histogram uh, but can be sometimes a little bit easier to work with um, when you're doing it by hand to to accurately produce a histogram really it's beneficial to use a computer uh, doing this by hand you know as long as we keep all of our numbers uh, roughly the same size when we're writing our, our numbers uh, then it gives us a nice fairly accurate representation of that distribution of of data. Okay, I, I hope this helps uh, uh, next time you have to produce a stem and leaf diagram. Uh, you can still include your lovely picture of stems and leaves, but hopefully now uh, you'll also have one of these. Okay, thank you for watching.